Now, let's talk about me meeting Ashi's family. We have to? We got to. Mm, okay. We gotta let them know. Go mm. ahead, Shishi. You can go ahead. No. This is your experience. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell it after. I'm gonna be I'm gonna tell you guys the raw everything. <laughs> oh no, you don't gotta say the whole thing. You yeah. just gotta make it a whole small summary. I you can't just gotta summarize it. You have to. Okay. So I felt like we've been dating for three years and I was wondering, I kept pressuring him like, hey, when am I going to meet your family? Because, you know, he met my family a year after we started dating. And I'm just like, okay, it's been three years going on four years. Mm -hmm. When am I going to meet your family? Are you even trying? He told me that he told his family about me. I did, but okay. That's not what they said. Okay. But he said he told his family about me. So, I'm like, actually, when am I going to meet your family? I really want to meet them. Like, do they even know about me? Because right now, I'm just feeling like they don't know about me. I am feeling like a secret. And and I didn't like it. It wasn't a good feeling. So, he was just like, when the time is right, I'll let you meet them. When the time is right, 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 I'll let you meet it. It got to be the right time. So, I'm like, okay. The first year wasn't the first wasn't wasn't the right time. The second year wasn't the right time. The third year wasn't the right time. We're approaching the fourth year, so I'm like, okay, I feel like he's hiding something. No, I'm not. I felt like he was hiding something, so I put my clothes on on a Sunday. I put my clothes on. You pulled after up church, on me. <laughs> after church, I got in my car and I pulled up on him. At his house, at his parents' house, mm-hmm. with the knife outside the door. I did not have a <laughs> I'm knife. Just Stop it! I did not have a knife. I just came, and I told him I was coming. Like mm-hmm. he was going to kill me to try to stop me from coming over there. Like mm-hmm. he was throwing threats, everything. No, I did it. Yes, you did threaten me. You threatened to call the police on me. For what? For what? For trespass. Oh my God! No. On his property. <laughs> no, I did it. But okay. No, it, so, no, I didn't. Nonetheless, I said, Ashi, you better go up there and get your parents and bring them downstairs so we can all meet and they can know that we are in love and you do have a girlfriend and she does exist. Why did I do that? Because I'm impatient. I was very impatient. I mean, at the time, I wasn't thinking clear. So, he eventually went and got his parents to come downstairs to meet me. It did not go well. We're going to leave it at that. It did not go well. Okay? I walked in the house, and from the moment I walked in the house, she was just trying to talk his mom into just hearing me out and just listening, like, that's my girlfriend you gotta go in there and meet her and she's like no why do I have to meet her why you gotta bring her to my house why is she in here again there's other stuff yeah Mm, but but he's gonna tell his part but okay so she finally came in and she was just like okay so why did you come here today what do you want what is it that you want to accomplish today she said that she so I'm like, well, I'm just here to let, like, to just meet you, introduce myself. Like, hi, I'm Kiana, and Aji and I, we've been dating for going on four years. Three. Going on that was, four. It was, well, yeah, it was at three four, years, but right. it was a, a few months shy of four years. Mm-hmm. And she wasn't happy to hear that <laughs> at all. I just saw fire blazing in her eyeballs, like, (sighs) but I'm not going to say everything she said because I'm going to let Aji tell it, but she wasn't happy to see me. She wasn't inviting. She did not shake my hand. She didn't (laughs) offer water, offer food, nothing. Yes. Your dad did. She didn't. She barely wanted to look me in my eyes. Okay. But 
um, his dad came downstairs and he shook my hand and he introduced himself and everything. He offered water, offered food, mm -hmm. and he was just very calm and down to earth and just like try, just very concerned, trying to figure out what's happening, what's going on, and how he could help and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't really speak English, so he couldn't really. There was a community. Okay. Did he not try to talk to me in Malayalam though? He was sleeping. He wasn't up yet. He wasn't like fully awake. He didn't know what the hell was going on. All he heard was just you just talking. That's it. And then my brother called him. So, but he's he, like, what's going on? He was just like, okay. He introduced himself, right. and I introduced myself. He shook my hand, and he offered the water and the food and everything. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, okay, well, what's going on? So I told him what was going on, and he said, okay, well, I'm going to. I'm going to explain this to you the best way I can, and hopefully you can understand. Mm -hmm. And then this man got to talking to Mali Alam, and I'm just looking at Aji like, what? But he wasn't, like, aggressive or anything while he was talking to me. Like, he wasn't... I didn't feel no type of way. Like, I didn't feel like he was just like, I don't want you here, or no, you're not good enough for my son. Even though I don't know what he was saying, but it didn't come off his demeanor and... His tone of voice didn't come off that way. Mm -hmm. Now his mother on the other end. Oh, she was his translator. Mm -hmm. And she was just saying things that I didn't feel like he was saying. I didn't I didn't feel like he was saying what she was translating him to say. But Aji wasn't saying anything, nor was his brother saying anything. So I, I'm over here like the only person that is speaking English to me is his mother. Well, I told you everything after what happened. He told me everything afterwards, not during the time. So I'm just over there around four Indians, one black girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> and <laughs> his mom was just coming for my whole life. She my she head, can be a my little race, too much. my everything. She can, be a she can be a little much sometimes. And she wasn't saying nothing at all but, until finally yeah. his brother was just like, okay, that's enough, mom. You overdoing it. It's not even that serious. Okay. And I'm just like, you know what? I had enough of this. I should let me out because I'm ready to go. I don't want to hear anything else. I don't want to talk to your mom. I don't want to see her. I don't want to know her. I don't want to be around her. I don't care what she said. It's over. We're done. I don't want to be with you. Don't call me no more. Don't text me. Don't say anything to me. And I left. I got in my car and I left. Cause this shit broke my heart. Now tell your story. Tell your version. Tell your version. I don't know. There's a lot of things. You don't like, have to say what she said. Like, well, we don't, we it's don't not have to that, say exactly what she said. But I'm just saying, said. like, well, that's the first time I've had a girl come to my house. One, two. Okay. <coughs> we got cut off. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and tell your side of the story. I... Well, I told you that wouldn't be the best idea. I was against it because mm -hmm. I wasn't happy about the way it was trying to go with it. But I guess. And then I didn't expect you that. You... I mean, I didn't expect that you would show up after you told me all of that. I thought you were just kidding. And then that was kind of unexpected. And I knew for a fact it was not going to go well. And, well, it could have gone worse. It could have. It could have gone worse? It could have gone worse. Like how? It could have gone worse. Because it went worse. <laughs> In my opinion, it <laughs> went worse. Okay. Um, what else? Mm, yeah. My dad was okay with it. You don't really have a problem. What did your mom say? How was your mom feeling? How well, did you feel when you heard everything that came out your mom's well, mouth she was, the way she was she talking to me she just wasn't accepting it that's it period no matter what you say no matter what i said one and then i'm not really supposed to get in between them when i'm talking because of okay. cultural stuff so you can't cut them off you i can't, can't cut them off and then interrupt. plus right okay. and plus it's also like a customary for the 
guy, as in, like, in my case, like, the guy, the father, the mom, and, like, maybe one more person, like a guardian or something, go to the girl's house, and that's where they do all the stuff. And that being said, and the same goes for arranged marriage, mm-hmm. or, like, love marriage or anything like that. Um, that didn't happen, so that was one. Two... I don't really get to say much unless I have a chance once they're done with the talking and then I get alone time with you and I get alone time with my parents or your parents. That's the whole customary um, customary thing, basically. Mm -hmm. That didn't happen, so they were kind of, I don't know, off. And it wasn't going well, so yeah. Um, yeah, end of the day, you walked out, and then, yeah, it didn't really go well. Um, How did you feel when I walked, when I walked out? Well, I came to check on you. And I broke up with you. (laughs) How did you feel? Well, I, well, I, I hated it, one, two, Mm -hmm. I, wish that it had gone better Mm -hmm. and I talked to my parents about it after that and it was okay and I just had to mend things with you yeah Yeah. so do you feel like I rushed into meeting your family or do you think that it was kind of justified because we were dating for three years well I wouldn't say you rushed because, yeah, it's been three years. I get that. You know, it's different for you. It's different for me. So I know, yeah, I was taking my time. I was trying to do it myself, and I was trying to do it my way. And you wasn't going with that. So you did what you did. Mm -hmm. You can't change it, obviously. I wouldn't. If I could go back in time, I wouldn't. I know. I wouldn't. I would have still came over and demanded. Unless I had done it beforehand but yeah because in my mind i feel like if i didn't take that first step that you would have never yes, to this day i your parents still wouldn't know about me yes, i would. still wouldn't yes, have would. met them or anything yes, like that would. so i felt like i gave you like the little push you needed not really not the right way but I guess. not the right way but i mean what other way like other way like I waited I waited on you I I, I, I waited as long as I could I get but it's that. just like I just felt it's like you wasn't like understanding my feelings about the whole thing like I, I let do. you meet my parents a year after I we do. met you were the first person that entered the first male that entered my house and met my dad my mom my family being introduced as my boyfriend you know the person that I love you know same goes for me you probably dated people before me but i'm just saying like <laughs> why are you squaring up like for what, I'm not what you trying up. To that's do? the dance that's the oh, dance okay. okay but i'm just saying like yeah it's different like yeah it only took a year for you but it, it took I a year say, for me because right, I love right, you I, and I, I know how that. much I love you and I how much that. you mean to me. So I, get, I, get I just wanted to share you with my family so that they can feel the same way I feel about you. They can feel that same love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, all in all, like me as a person, I came to terms that, okay, your mother she doesn't accept it she's not open to accepting it and she probably never will and i can live with that you know like i just want you to be happy and i just want to feel secure in my relationship that when i turn my back you're not about to run to an arranged marriage (laughs) that i didn't know anything about (laughs) okay that's the shit you be talking about which i don't know about like no that's not gonna happen no okay okay Mm -hmm. relax okay Okay, so and i hope it gets better with my family and they start to see things 
from our way or just keep an open mind like, oh yeah I'm right not, I get that I know that this is not what you wanted but you brought your children to the United States mm -hmm. a country of diversity mm -hmm. and he just saw this fine black girl walk into class and he didn't know what to do yeah. he didn't know what to do yeah. so <laughs> I <don't see> <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know what to do and he 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 took his shot and he made it so here balling all that mm -hmm. so yeah I guess that's the conclude like the conclusion is like we're still working on us trying to get just a stronger relationship I guess like I don't know I don't know what's going on with his family I don't I don't I don't know Okay. But anyway, like, I, I just told him, like, you know, sometimes I get tired of waiting. Like, I put just as much effort into this relationship as you did. And I don't know. Sometimes it's a challenge because it's just like, does this man really love me as much as he say he does? Like, you know. You say you love me more than anything in the world, more than anything you've ever loved in life. Anything and everything. Anything and everything. Okay, that's not gonna change, no matter what. Yeah, I feel the same way, like, you my Gigi. Okay, that's all we need. Yeah, but I did tell him, and I still feel the same way, I still feel the same way till today, but, I'm open to I'm I'm open to keeping an open mind and working on a, a relationship and stuff like that. I told him if we have children, maybe we could take them over there if they if they're open to seeing them and meeting them and stuff like that. So I'm willing to keep an open mind and try to you know try to meet you halfway. Right, and I'm gonna stay positive and try my best to see how I can make things work with all of that mm -hmm. and go from there. Yeah, pretty much. Let me see. Now the one question, because that's to wrap up everything, like we are still at what? where we are today in our relationship, like we are still trying to work on it, right? Mm -hmm. But with our situation, the biggest obstacle is you being torn between me and your family. I feel like that's the biggest obstacle because I, you know, yes, I've asked you to choose in the past, but only because, like, you can't keep, you know, you can't sit on both sides of the fence. You're either on this side or that side, but you can't be smack dab in the middle mm -hmm. you have to either choose do you want to please your family and well I already picked a side I'm just trying to make the other side better and have a good relationship with the other one which mm -hmm. is you and my family basically that's it yeah but it's still hard on and you and that's because. still not gonna happen Today or tomorrow, it might take time, it might take a long time. You never know, but I'm open to that and I'm still working on it. It doesn't just take me, it's gonna take me, you, my family, basically, pretty much. But, but I yeah. feel like I've been open to everything. Like, yes, you, you know, have. like I'm an open person. Like, I didn't say you're not. I didn't say you're not. Yeah. It's gonna take time for them. And I want to give that time. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's not going to affect me or you in our relationship or our future. That's going to affect us. Not in the ways that... That you think? Right. So you don't think that your family not accepting me and not really wanting to have anything to do with you, if you marry me, you don't think that's going to affect your future? No. You don't think so? No. 
You think they'll come around eventually, someday, mm -hmm. someday. in another life? No, in this life. When I'm dead? No. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that's the challenges. The challenge for me is just learning. L yeah, learning yeah. his culture. And like, you, I'm just. You don't like to learn. <laughs> just keeping an open mind and an open heart and just hearing him out and listening and trying to understand. I've spoken to other Indians about it. Again, all Indians, not the same. I know, he did all say Indian that. All Indian families, not the same. He did Follow say different that. He did say that. ways and cultures and stuff like that. He did say that. Even if you're, let's say where I'm from, you could be Christian or you could be Hindu mm -hmm. or whatever. It's still not going to be the same. Yeah. Every household is different. And that's a, like, as far as like religion, right. he's Catholic, right. Christian Catholic, and I'm Christian Protestant. Right. So it's just like we're still in Christianity. So religion isn't an obstacle at all. Like it's not an issue at no. all mm. in our relationship. It's just the culture. Culture. That's it. Right. The culture. All because of race. Yeah. Yeah. Because you were a little darker. That's it. That's it. And I'm not even that much darker. Let's yes, just be honest because. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes. But, yeah, that is it. That is all. Do you have anything to add? I think I covered everything. Mm hmm. Covered everything. So, mm -hmm. yes. Um. What do you look forward to in the future for us? What do I look forward to? I look How forward... How do you think everything's going to go? I'm trying to stay optimistic about it. As far as your family eventually coming around. Hmm. We'll talk about it. Okay. Um, that's it. So... Yeah. That's mm -hmm. it for our video. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on social media. And you can follow him. Um, I don't know. We, I might do like an update mm -hmm. video. Maybe. And I don't know. Maybe when you're pregnant? Oh. He's just playing. <laughs> Maybe when we're married. Or engaged. Or engaged. So, yeah. You never know. But this this relationship has been a roller coaster. It has. But I think it just made us stronger. stronger. Yeah. And love each other more. Mm 